with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Welcome back. We start you off with a time lapse of our clouds this afternoon in Tucson. What a beautiful shot. Hardworking photojournalist Andrew Batista shot this for us and kind of sped it up. Really cool. And you can also see the, the trees uh, just constantly blowing around there as the wind was quite elevated. Honestly, uh, the clouds helped us suppress our wind somewhat kind of uh, keeping it, uh, preventing sort of that mixing of the different layers of the atmosphere. So if we hadn't had some of that cloud cover this afternoon, our wind would have been even stronger still. We give you yet another time lapse from the Mount Lemmon webcam. And yes, the sun goes down, things go dark. You can still see some of the lights there, some of the businesses uh, staying on. But I love this. We have it set up to capture just about every 20 minutes for several hours at a time. So you get a nice mix of blue sky, some clouds, even a gorgeous sunset in there. And then, of course, the sun going down and then the, the lights of the, the village coming up there. So beautiful today. So get your skis shined up and grab a stick of juicy fruit, I guess. <laughs> it is time to ski the lemon. Did I just age myself with that commercial? Guy, guy, guy recognizes it, Jennifer does. Dustin and Austin uh, looking at me, they're the young ones. They're like looking at me like, what is that reference all about? Some of you might know. Although Guy chooses, choose uh, dentine. Yes. That's your gum of choice, isn't it? Right. Okay, the classic, the classic one. Your Ski Valley forecast opening weekend today. Yes, as uh, some of the folks up there were telling us earlier, it was downright breezy, a high of just about 38. If you head up the mountain tomorrow, our chance for snow at 10%, looking good from a weather perspective with a high of 39 Sunday. Now, Sunday, this is when it could get a little tricky. Yes, we have a 70% chance for snow on the mountain. That means you'll want to get up there early because the potential uh, for them to close uh, Catalina Highway is quite high with a snow chance uh, that good, 70% on Sunday, and the high temperature that day in the 30s, upper 30s as well. So how gusty did we get? Tucson's wind gusts near 40 miles per hour this afternoon. Sierra Vista 28, the same for Nogales. Bisbee Douglas Airport also near 40 mile per hour gusts this afternoon. As is pretty typical, when the sun sets, we lose some of that daytime uh, heat. Our wind also tapers off, although still elevated in Douglas 32, 28 right now at Tucson's airport. Here are those other current conditions that we're working with. Our skies, eh, mostly clear. We do have some high level clouds over us right now. Wind from the east southeast sustained at 20 miles per hour. It means blowing at that strength for at least two minutes straight. Wind gusts at 28 miles per hour. Air temperature at 60 degrees. So the wind is expected to stay uh, fairly elevated for us overnight. So that will actually help keep our overnight low on the warm side as it prevents some of that cold air from really settling in uh, to the valley here. 60 degrees right now. 49 in Wilcox, 52 in Safford. Our high today, though, 65 degrees. That's just slightly above our average by one degree. 42 is how we started the day, three above our 39 degree. 30 year average. It's what you hear me refer to as the normal. So, this is the storm system that will be responsible for bringing in our next chance for rain and snow. And boy, it's going to start moving in late Saturday night into Sunday. Saturday night chance for rain about 30 to 40 percent. On Sunday, though, we're talking a whopping 70 percent chance for showers. So, if you have uh, some last minute holiday shopping you want to get done and you want to stay dry, <laughs> Saturday's the day to do that. Sunday, better 70 percent chance for rain. And then look ahead to Wednesday and Thursday, another 10 percent chance for showers then. Nine on your side at six will be